Hey everyone, Coach Jake here. Uh, today I just want to talk about the correlation between uh, like a regular double pull that you would do in classic um, and the pulling that you do uh, in skate, uh, specifically for V2 and V1. Um, and so I've gone over this in a video before, but you know, just a regular double pull for classic um, is just utilizing our core, our lats, and then our arms, thinking about nice, loose, relaxed shoulders. Um, and we're just pulling through just like a regular double pull. Um, how that relates to skating, um, something that I want everyone to sort of think about is that for V2, um, the pulling motion that you're doing is exactly the same um, as you would with a regular double pull. Uh, you're just obviously pushing from side to side as you're doing that. Um, so as you are continuing to roller ski as we get into more of the fall here, um, I want you to think about you're still utilizing the same core, the same lats, and the same amount of arms uh, as you would when you double pull when you are doing a V2. Um, that's the pretty simple one. Uh, moving to V1, um, it's a little bit more complicated, um, but I think a lot of people when they were learning, I know this is kind of how I learned, um, but we sort of have this like rotation that we do. So when we swing up our arms, if I'm V1ing on my left side, um, we sort of like have our swing arm come up over our chest um, and Typically, that'll cause a little bit of hip rotation when we're doing that. Um, going forward, I want us to think about whether we're V2ing or V1ing, having our hips facing forward. Um, and so when we kind of do this like swing with our arms when we're doing a V1, we can kind of twist our hips um, and just not utilize our core, our upper body as efficiently. Um, so with V1, I want you guys to think about doing um, as close to a regular double pull as you can. So instead of having like your swing arm kind of come up over your chest, think about having it go from here out to here. So you're able to more utilize your core. And then at that angle too, you're not really like crunching down and pushing out to the side. But when your arm is out here, you're crunching down and pushing back. Um, so when you're thinking about a good V1 position for your upper body, think about having your arms a little bit stagnated, but um, a little bit wider like you're kind of double pulling as well um, and just think about that as you're pulling try it on both sides and see how it feels we want to try and utilize the big muscles in our upper body the same that we would when we're double pulling uh, thanks have a good one bye